Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, That Model Railway Guy, for the final video in my little Heritage Railway series. If you haven't seen the previous episodes yet, well basically last year I took a week off to go and visit a different Heritage Railway every single day. And the reason behind that was because the double O gauge layout I'm currently building is going to be set on a Heritage Railway. Naturally, I wanted to gather some inspiration for the scenery on the layout, and I figured the best way to do that was to visit a bunch of new railways that I'd never been to before. Now we come to the final day of the trip, and there's something a little bit different in store today. So far, all the railways in this series have been standard gauge, but you guys know I love a narrow gauge railway just as much too, and so as you'll have seen from the title of this video, I took a trip to the Leighton Buzzard Railway. The day began at Pages Park, the central hub of the railway, with the loco sitting in the head shunt ready to run round the train. The loco in steam was a Baldwin 1012D and it conveniently stopped at the end of the platform to take on water, which gave me a perfect opportunity to get some close up shots. I'm going to go to the 
With the Baldwin all coupled up to the train, it was time to begin the journey. The Leighton Buzzard Railway really does feel like a true narrow gauge line as it winds its way through the woods and behind houses. There's also plenty of crossings on the line too, which keeps the loco crews on their toes. A recent addition to the railway at the time of my visit was this brand new tunnel which allows the railway to pass under a new major road with a small diversion from the original line. And then not long after this, we passed through Stonehenge Works, which until recently used to be the end of the line. At the time of filming though, the railway had just completed building a new double track extension, which had only opened about a month prior to my visit. To make use of the two lines running side by side, you can see they run a demonstration freight train alongside the passenger train, which was certainly very entertaining to watch. This really allows the Leighton Buzzard Railway to lean into the history of the original railway and how it may have operated when serving the sand quarries after the First World War. It was also nice to see quite a substantial rake of tipper wagons that made up the freight train too. As we reached the end of the extension, the freight train dropped back and we arrived into Monday's Hill. While there isn't a station here, there is a run round loop which allowed the Baldwin to move to the opposite end of the train for the return journey.
and soon enough we were on our way again. Naturally, we once again met up with the freight train, which was also making its way back to the station at Stonehenge Works. All in all, this new extension adds a really nice chunk of time to the journey, and getting to run side by side with another train is certainly a highlight. Soon we were arriving back into Stonehenge Works, where the freight train peeled away into a nearby set of sidings. Meanwhile, the Baldwin brought the passenger train into the station, where there was a chance to have a look round at some of the static exhibits on display. So, like I said at the beginning of this video, this whole series has come about so that I could find some inspiration for my layout, the modular model railway that I'm building. And a lot of you have been asking when I'm going to restart that series, because it has been a while. Well, some of you may have seen the news recently that new episodes of that series are coming really, really soon. And I'm so excited for you to see all the progress I've made on the layout. Of course, if you can't wait, well, all my channel members are getting early access to those videos. So if you want to be one of the first to see what changes I've made, click that join button below. It starts from just £1.99, so it's like buying me a coffee. And you don't just get early access to the videos, there's other cool stuff in the members area too. So yeah, like I said, click that join button below this video and you'll get to see the first episode really soon. Before long, we were off again to make the return journey back to Pages Park.
After passing by the loco shed, the train began to slow as we arrived back into Pages Park to complete the journey. While this was the final train of the day, there was still more to look at as the engine shed is open for visitors to have a look round and see the railway's other locos. Baldwin had the task of then putting the rake of empty carriages away.
With the carriages safely propelled into the shed, it was time for the Baldwin to move over to its own road for disposal. And with that, my day at the Leighton Buzzard Light Railway, and in fact, my entire railway trip came to an end. Thank you so much for watching this video, especially those of you who have watched the entire series, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!